Hi there, okay, this is going to be video number 74, all right, but number 36 of module 3. This particular video, we're going to talk about the Ikimuku Kinku Hayo, and we're going to merge it in between with the IMACD as well. All right, now the, the, the rules are pretty simple. Now, since the Ikimuku um, indicator is quite difficult to understand, because I think there are around about, hmm, it's about five different ways of interpreting signals, interpreting signals. So I'll try to figure this can come out of a different way that's a little bit more simple. Alright, and then the way we can do that is by taking what we know from the IMATD. When we see the signal line break into the histogram and point towards the upside of, of the vertical scale, then it's a bi territory. Same here when it goes up, digs into it, it's bi territory. Same here when it digs down, it's cell territory. <clears throat> now where the signal appears, where the, um, I mean, this is where you need to draw some allowances because if you were to basically go in long here and long here and then short there, to do that every time those instances happens, you won't always make a profit. All right. So what you need to look at is to see how f how close that these entries actually arise like you can see that this red signal line and the green one here happens right at the beginning of the start of that histogram now over here we can see that the start of the histogram from here to there is yay long and this one didn't come through until quite some time I mean this is where well this is where the signal came in now what I'm looking at is basically the strategy that I'm coming from is that any time that you see candles or they see the currency market inside the the clouds, you should not trade it. All right, but I want you to find a way of how I can actually gain money by trading inside the cloud against the rule of thumb. I want you to find a way of actually how to go gain those pips and predict that it's going to break out the top side or the bottom side depending on on whatever happens. And. <coughs> We don't get the, the full patterns that we're looking for all, all the time. So I tried to make some allowances, um, some sacrifices even. And one of the sacrifices were to sort of really basically wait um, for signals that only appear at the beginning of the histogram rather than through its whole entire, I don't know, um, I mean this one, we don't even know that that's going to go that far. So, so for its entire duration, its entire length. This one happens, as we can see here, it was right towards the end. The market didn't come really down that much, and the market on this one, when this happened quite sooner, it did actually break. We were actually inside the cloud um, when the green one hit right here, and then the red one hit shortly after, but it broke out of the cloud there. So I'm trying to look for areas that have similar markup points, like here's one here, and it's right at the beginning of the cloud. Uh, you know, sorry, right at the beginning of the um, of the histogram, and the result was that it did go up a fair old bit. Okay, so again, I want to try and look at that. I'm not really bothered at what color the cloud is. It could be red or green, um, but preferably, I mean, I'm really looking for a breakout on a green um, Kumo favoring its direction with the IMACD as well and here there's no real de definitive kind of where, you know what cloud this is in I mean it's above the red there and then that red line is basically well, in between both that I would ignore altogether All right, I'm not really getting a clear concise picture but I can tell you right now that when you're when that signal happened right there and then these two lines start to green and red line starts to draw up together you know that this line here is actually finished so you're now inside an upwards bar um, inside an upwards um, Kumo and this time I mean the Kumo basically did the opposite of the of the candle so it went the other way so that would be no good trade now this one I mean this one looks okay on you know the most part but I wanted to sort of kind of predict whether this is actually going to break the cloud and I've noticed that there's a pattern that's appearing that every time that the signal line breaks into the histogram and that if the candles are actually inside the Kumo it will break 
the Kumo. So like this is an upwards area, so it will break the top part of the Kumo. <coughs> this area here is in the upwards part, it's inside the cloud and it does break the top part of the Kumo. Alright. And then um looking for a down downwards area and I don't think I've actually got an example for Okay, well here's one basically then it breaks below the Kumo. So let's just take a look to see if there are any more examples we can go from all the way back. And we can see that there was an area here where the signal line was, it did eventually break the bottom part of the Kumo, but the distance from where it started its histogram to where that signal line broke into that histogram is quite far away. I'm looking for something like this one here. It's, this is the start of its Kumo. The red line there is inside the Kumo um, cloud, and then boom, up it goes. It is basically the, the, the sooner you see the signal line touch the histogram at the beginning of it and then run that line up you can see that it's actually broke that Kumo and gone up a fair old distance here you can see the same example again but the delivery date for, to see this red dotted dashed line we wanted it to be over here but it didn't it come in quite some time afterwards nonetheless it broke outside that Kumo it did go up but the distance, the amount that it went up was a lot shorter than the distance that this one went up. So I'm going to try and prove this again. Here is like my power trade example. About two bars after the, the upside of the histogram there, the signal line breaks into the histogram. It's, a, well, it's basically, it's hit the cloud, the bottom part or the top part of the cloud there and then boom, up it goes. Look at the distance. It's huge. All right, we're looking this one from there, from around about here to up to here is over a thousand pips. This one here is like 108. This is going back donkeys. This is going back in 2003. And this one went up again. This one went up about a thousand pips. So it's a bit of a, a weird phenomenon um, appearing there. Let's see if we can go back and say like 2005. Alright, here, I mean, this one didn't actually ring true for us this time. And the signal bar comes in quite late. We want it to be over here. And we don't get any significant break one way or the other until quite some days pass. So that's not good enough. Alright, so we need to keep on looking. <coughs> 